here we are again, folks. Um, trying to think of something classy or catchy or something cool to say uh, as an intro, but I'm not that dude, apparently. Um, so what I want to do is I want to try to keep this under uh, five minutes <laughs> as usual. I probably won't make it. I even put together, uh, put together a little script, a little Word document over here. I've been putting this off for some time. Um, uh, you know what, let me keep keep it a script. Um, so it's been a while since I've been on here, and by a while I mean months. I know last time a couple folks made comments of, you know, the facial hair compared to how I had done the videos early on. Uh, early on in the videos, you know, I was still on active duty. I was in the Army at the time, so couldn't have the facial hair. Uh, now I'm trying to find that happy medium of, well, we won't get in too much into that, but, you know, I, I got to keep hair on my face now. Uh, as you see, as usual, as per the way I do things, I guess, around my house, I don't have on a shirt. I was thinking about that, like, man, maybe I should put a shirt on. But all you see is a little bit of taco meat up at the top, so we should be good. Uh, if that's a turn off, I apologize. Um, uh, let's see what's been going on. So I'm back in the gym. Strength is getting back up, so that's a plus. Um, I've got a couple catches here and there in the shoulder. Uh, some of that can get fixed through doing uh, physical therapy. If I would stick to my physical therapy exercises, I probably wouldn't have as much pain as often as I do. Mm, so that's that's on me. That's my fault. Uh, and that's something that I'm working on. But I'm a little hard-headed. I don't like to warm up. I like to get into the workout. When I'm done, I like to leave so I can get a snack or something because I like to eat. Um, yeah, so I don't really do a cool down either. And as a personal trainer... It's a little ridiculous that I do neither of those, but it's kind of like a doctor, right? Doctors are the worst patients. Hey, go and do this and take this and you'll feel better. And then doctors don't follow any of their own advice. So, uh, and I'm nothing like a doctor, so I'm not really sure why I even came up with that analogy. All right, so um, another update, uh, ulcerative colitis. So I was diagnosed with ulcerative colitis in April of this year of 2019. Uh, what is ulcerative colitis? I guess the simplest way I can explain it uh, is it's kind of like Crohn's but different in that it's really just in the large intestine. It can form or morph into Crohn's according to some things that I've read. And, uh, but long story short, uh, January of 2019, uh, so 2019 has been kind of rough, but January 2019, uh, got super sick, wasn't feeling well, had a lot going on out the backside. If you want to know more details, I'll, I'll fill you in, I'll share, I'm an open book. Uh, but it wasn't pleasant. Uh, I couldn't eat much of anything. Uh, for instance, one day all I could get down was a piece of toast with honey, and it took me like 45 minutes to eat that. Uh, so I lost 35 pounds in about three months. They finally diagnosed what was going on with the, uh, you know, the GoPro up the poop shoot there. Um, they took a look. They're like, hey, you got ulcers. You got problems. Here's some medication. They put me on some steroids for, for a couple months. Uh, that was helpful for a little bit. Uh, then they took me off the steroids because all the potential side effects. They got me on some other stuff, but I'm still having some issues. Uh, what does that really mean? Um, it took me a while to get some weight back on. Uh, so I went from 240 down to 205 and back up to 230 uh, since April. Uh, so that's good. Bad news is I'm tired all the freaking time. I mean, just freaking exhausted um, because the stupid UC. Uh, but it's life, you know, stuff happens. Uh, Got to keep it moving. <clears throat> um, moving on from that, next talking point I have here. Uh, who am I? Who is Casper? Uh, well, I haven't really shown... In the videos previously, I hadn't really shown any of my my personality. Um, you know, I didn't want to I didn't want to put anybody off. I wanted it to come across as educational. I wanted to feed as much uh, quality content as I possibly could. Not to say that I'm going to produce crap, but I might produce crap. I don't know. Um, but I wanted to put quality content out there for folks that were dealing with the same type of surgery that I had. Um, and hopefully it came across that way. I noticed that some people, and it's one of those things where I, I guess folks are going to hate regardless of what you think you're going to do. Uh, but there was a couple of people put thumbs down on some of the videos and I was like, man, it would have been cool if they could have left some comments like, I hate your face or your voice sucks or you, you stutter a lot and you sound like a daggum fool or buffoon, whatever the case may be. Or I wish you would have um, done more showing the, the scar tissue of the area and giving us more detail and links to some other sites. Um, so if there's something in this video that you find uh, appalling or disgusting or or helpful or funny or well, whatever, uh, and you thumbs down, please hey, tell me what sucked. Uh, and I'm not going to promise I'll fix it because uh, maybe I won't. Uh, so right now I'm kind of on a, a discovery um, path. <clears throat> One of the things that I'm looking at doing potentially is changing the name of the page 
uh, to something else. I've got a project that I'm working on. It's uh, Stampede Fitness. I've got a couple of ideas of some things that I'd like to I'd like to do inside of the fitness industry uh, that deals with uh, you know health, nutrition, things like that. No, and please, I'm not trying to sell anybody anything. Uh, I'm not going to have a link in the thing at the bottom because I don't know how to do that anyway or a banner that goes across the top that says, hey, click on me because, I, again, I don't know how to do that either yet. I don't even think I have a guy or a gal, maybe. Uh, anyway, I want to add value to others is really what I'm getting at here. Um, another thing I want to talk about is for for you all, there's like a hundred and, hundred and some odd people that have subscribed, which to me is mind-blowing that anybody would listen Especially when I lie to you, like every time, hey, I'm gonna keep this at five minutes. I know I'm already past five minutes because the little acoustic music thing in the background is two minutes forty-two seconds. So I've blown that already out the water. I apologize. Um, but something that I'd like to do, if any of you are interested in getting any information um, or even like free samples as as I go through this journey and figure out what the heck kind of content that I'm gonna put on YouTube as it relates to. Um, the brand and the things that I'm trying to build um, some some of which like no kidding build I got a I got a guy that's gonna help me out with some CAD drawings and whatnot so I can get into some manufacturing um, but I would like to show y'all some love scenes how this is you know you, you were the first ones around you were listening to me ramble like you may or may not be right now at this point in the video so if you are interested in being contacted uh, for free samples or, or you're willing to try some stuff out and give me feedback honest like hey this thing that you created is a flaming piece of crap um, I, I will gladly accept that feedback and um, the email address if you could uh, if you'd like to link up with me is stampede fitness at protonmail.com so stampede fitness at p-r-o-t-o-n-m-a-i-l Dot com. Um, and as stuff develops and I get things in from manufacturers before I put them on any sites or I, I package them up for, for sale, um, I will reach out to you all and see if you have any interest in any of those things uh, as product testers or otherwise. Um, but I figured, hey, who knows, maybe one day this, you know, the company that I'm trying to create to add value to others may actually become something and you know you guys will be trendsetters the first one that that has stampede fitness swag and uh yeah or whatever the name becomes later i look for trademarks i didn't see any trademark stuff but but you know somebody will see this and then they'll go and i doubt no i'm not that cool but somebody may see this and be like oh man that's my name you stole my name and and then i got lawyers sending me emails telling me to cease and desist and then i gotta change the name to something crazy um and then I'll probably ask y'all for ideas for a name to call the thing, like Ramblin'. I don't know if that's a good... No, I can't I can't trademark that because that's an actual word unless you dropped it. Okay, so I thank you all for watching um, and dealing with my Ramblin'. Uh, my intent is to... I keep saying, well, I need to. I need to quit bullcrapping is what I need to do. My intent is to put at least, at least one video out, at least one, um, each month. Uh, something simple. No, nothing nothing too crazy oh I have an insta uh, we I we we have an Instagram uh, it is stampede underscore fitness underscore is it at stampede underscore fitness underscore is that how Instagram works I think yes I think so stampede underscore fitness underscore on the Instagram and then on Facebook it's uh, at stampede fitness yeah yeah pretty sure and there still isn't going to be a link at the bottom because I don't know how to do that. All right, so you lovely people, have a wonderful day. Any feedback that you want to give me, I will gladly accept. Um, I was watching a thing by Gary V, Gary Vanderchuk. That dude is, I like him. I like him. He's, he's loud. He's boisterous. He's out there a little bit. But one of the things that he mentioned was like he does he does his videos. It's one take. There is no going and cropping and cutting and, and streamlining and making it sound wonderful. And I like that idea for a couple of reasons. One, because I ramble and whatnot. But two, I don't know how to do all that video editing stuff. So it would take a whole lot of time to figure out how not to make myself look like a fool. Um, so you're welcome. I think that's it. Thanks for watching. See y'all soon. Have a great day.